Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. So this Animal Kingdom, man, it looks really interesting. It's going to be a gritty family we're looking at here, right? Yeah, it's a pretty unique family. So tell me about what made making this show and getting this great cast. Get Scott, you got Ellen Barkin, one of the greats. We can put it all together. You know, it was very exciting. We had, if you have wonderful material, then the actors respond and want to come and be in the show. So that's what happened with this. And uh, so we had a lot of people show up and say they were really interested in doing it. It's a great film uh, that it's based on by David Michon. And uh, so there's a great story underneath it. When you're going off of a film, how much of that film influences the making of the TV show? Well, you're attracted to it because of the film, you know, in the first place, to the material. So, uh, you know, generally what I tell people is that the beginning of something is oftentimes very similar and then it quickly diverges and becomes its own thing because, you know, as an example in the film, the character that Scott Speedman plays dies almost immediately in the film. You're like, so I've got to keep him alive. Yeah, we didn't follow that. Um, and then also the actors, the individual actors that you have in the show um, really affect what you're doing next. So it really changes based on you know what people are doing and what, how the actors are interacting with each other, uh, and all that makes a real difference in how you proceed as you do the series. The ability to make great television is insane right now. Someone was, I was just talking to, talked about how every episode now is a mini movie. <laughs> it's got to be a joy for you guys when making a show like this. You know, it's a, we, we uh, have expectations from the audience that you know that they're going to be able to see something to be the same quality as a feature film. Uh, most people are watching all of their entertainment at home on a large screen, and they don't really distinguish between what's a film and what's a television show. So you have to deliver the same production qualities that you get in films. And so that's a real challenge in television to be able to do that week in, week out. But I think uh, it makes people, uh, their expectation is that it's gonna be the same kind of quality that they can get when they go to the theaters, so.